Welcome to High Speed Web. Um, today we're showcasing our Cacti Stats plugin for WHMCS that will allow us to control and monitor and build for overages on dedicated servers. So without further ado, let's go ahead and look. Um, this is my account. Let's go to Products and Services. And I have a dedicated server. You notice these few lines popped in afterwards. Um, we added those with Ajax. The first one is switch and port. So for this dedicated server, we've got a switch and a port assigned to it. These switches come out of the server tab. Um, we've got a new kind of server module called dedicated, and it allows us to control the switches. We're pulling the actual um, port names from Cacti as it does its SNMP walk to determine all the ports that that switch realistically has. Underneath that we've got the monthly bandwidth limit. Now this is not a hard limit. So in other words we're not going to turn this server off when it reaches this limit. What we're going to do is bill it for anything going above and beyond that. Um, I've set this at the ridiculously low 5 gigabytes just to show you the overages and whatnot. Um, the cost per band, per gigabyte over the month their monthly limit is specified here so you can charge different customers different amounts based on their relationship with you. Uh, if we view my stats it opens this nice little pop-up window thingy that shows us a graph of the monthly usage. Now when we say monthly we're not talking about you know first of the month to 31st it's based on their billing cycle. So if um, their bills are generated, well not generated, if their bills are due, let's say that mine are due the 10th, uh, the so my billing service starts the 10th, um, and it goes through the 10th of the next month. So that's, so when we say monthly, that's what we're talking about, their billing month. So um, it shows us a graph of their billing month so far, the usage per day, it gives us the total usage. It gives us how much we're over. It gives how much is going to is the overage cost as of right now. Um, how many days are left in the billing cycle, and the daily output. You can see this server really doesn't get used much. I'm just using it for demo. Um, and then on the right we've got the projections. So if I keep using it in the same patterns that I have been, it's projected that I'll use about 17 gig. That'll put me about 13 gig over, and that'll result in a 6.5, well, $6.50 in costs. And there's my five gig limit. Now, if I were to change this, let's just put it at 15, and view the stats, you can see, well, first off, uh, my limit, this li red limit line, is closer to my average now, so, I'm really going to only be 2 gig over, 3 gig projected, bringing the cost down to a dollar. and So that it all updates automatically and it all is built off of the live data based out of WHMCS. We'll set that back down. Um, it doesn't, if you start typing something weird, it tells you please enter a valid thing. You, you can type in unlimited. And if you view the stats on that, uh, the limit line is just down at the bottom. It doesn't say anything. Uh, it, it says these proje these projections, they're not real because it's unlimited. It's not going to build them. The way it does the billing, um, if at the end of the month they're over, it adds it as a billable item to the next invoice. I'll explain a little, a little bit why we did that. Um, it's auto... I like Ajax. I think it's the way it should be done. And so when you change any of these values, it automatically saves it. All right, if we go down to the bottom, we've created some buttons here. The, uh, like I said, we created a new server module for this. And these buttons do specific things with both the Cacti server and the switch. Um, ter terminate and Create both deal with the Cacti server. So what it's going to do, if I click Create, is it creates a 
um, account on the Cacti server for this user with their email address as the username. It generates a random password for them and it makes them reset it on login. And then it goes and provisions that user to view the graphs for this switch in this port. So uh, let me do that. Uh, this is another plugin we did so that it can we have notes so that you know if you're creating something it shows you in the notes why. You can see down there. I'm just doing testing. Go ahead and do that. Um, if we click on emails, I don't like the way that wraps. Okay, it sends an email to you saying your stats account has been created and provisioned for gaming. Um, here, if we look at the email, it gives you the URL of the Cacti server. It gives our email address and a random password. We go to Cacti and we do ads and that password. Log in. It's going to force us to change that password. And it shows us, let me bring this down so we can look at it. It shows us that graph. And if I had multiple, um, multiple servers assigned to me, it, they would all be here. So it allows one username, one password, log in and view all the servers for that customer. And, you know, it's Cacti, so you can view each individual graph, you can export the data, import the data, yada, 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 whatever you want to do. Um, we'll get to that in a second. Back here. If we come down, terminate removes that user and all the permissions associated with it change password. If somebody forgot their password for the Cacti server, you click that. It says password successfully changed. What that does is it re it generates another random password. It goes and sets their password to that. Sends them another email like this. You'll notice this. Password is different. You go back to the Cacti server. Uh, that one adds. And password. You have to reset your password again. And bam, there you go. There's your Cacti's stats again. So that that allows you to give access to, cac, to your Cacti server to your customers, but locks them into just the things that they're paying for. What is that? Let's go back here. Gaming. Okay, suspend and unsuspend deal with the switch and the port. What that's going to do is it's going to suspend, it's going to down the port for um, this server on this switch. So let's go ahead and pull up a command prompt here. And just to look, let's go ahead and ping my server. Alright, so my server's up, it's running, it loves life, thinks everything's great. We're going to go ahead and suspend it, and we're going to suspend it because it sucks. Go ahead and do that, let's watch it. Now this is actually going to the switch, it's logging in via Telnet, and it is running the commands to down the port. It's done in a modular fashion so that it's very easy to add other types of switches. You know, anybody who's messed with um, switches, you know, each manufacturer and each iOS or whatever you want to call them um, have their own different set of command sets. We have two different types of switches. We have Cisco's and Dell's. Uh, the Cisco's tend to run a little slower, so this is why it's taking us a little bit. I'll put my password so you can see it's actually going. Um, it's logging into the server. You can see it's just started timing out. It's running all the commands associated with the suspend command. And it's pulling all this data from INI files. So there's a Cisco INI file and a Dell INI file. 